red bird is red. The bird we know as the red bird was not always red. Many years ago, Mr. Red Bird and Mrs. Red Bird were plain and brown. Mr. Red Bird was such a hard worker that he didn't give much thought to what he was wearing. He was busy being helpful and neat and clean. The first thing in the morning, he went to get food for his wife and children. He hunted for nuts, berries, and worms, which he took back to the nest. He fed his family before he thought about himself. <laughs> Mrs. Redbird carefully broke the worms for baby girl worm and for little boy bird to learn to eat and try to keep the little rascal from leaning out of the nest. <laughs> Watch out, Bubba, he said one morning. You are going to lean out too much, and I'm afraid that you will fall. That morning, Mr. Redbird had fed his wife and children and then got, went out to find his own breakfast. He was careful, but he heard moaning and groaning from behind a rock. He flew over to see Mr. Wolf lying on the ground. Mr. Redbird said, Mr. Wolf, what has happened? The wolf told him that the raccoon had said some insulting things to him, and he had chased the raccoon up the tree above the river. When the wolf saw the reflection of the raccoon in the river, he thought it was really the raccoon and jumped in the river and nearly drowned. He crawled up on the riverbank and fell asleep exhausted. While he was sleeping, the raccoon sneaked over and plastered his eyes with mud. Pitiful Mr. Wolf was bruised and sore and cried and cried. Be calm, consoled Mr. Redbird. I can help you. Mr. Wolf felt better already when he heard that Mr. Redbird was concerned. This will be uncomfortable, said Mr. Redbird, fanning Mr. Wolf with his wings. I must peck this wood mud from your eyes. Hold very still while I stand on your nose. He hopped up on Mr. Wolf's head and pecked. Now shake your head gently, he said, and open your eyes. What can you see? Mr. Wolf shook his head and said, I can see a little bit, but there's still sand and mud in my eyes. I know, said Mr. Redbird. I'll peck again. And he pecked until nearly all the mud was gone. After a while, he said, shake real hard and see what you can see. He shook hard and he began to see. Mr. Bird said, I know your eyes still hurt and you can't see clearly, so I'll lead you to the water. It was a strange sight. There was Mr. Redbird leading Mr. Wolf in a way that the other animals would never have understood. When they got to the water, Mr. Redbird said, dip your head in. When Mr. Wolf went under the water, he got all the sand and mud out of his eyes. He felt so good that he wanted to pay the bird for his kindness. No, said Mr. Redbird, I have done nothing that I wouldn't always do for someone in need. Please let me do something for you, said the wolf. No, said Mr. Redbird, your appreciation is enough. I must get home to my wife and babies. I know something I can do for you, said Mr. Wolf, but I'm afraid you will be hurt at what I say. Go ahead, said Mr. Redbird, for he saw this was going to take more and more time. Well, said Mr. Wolf, all the animals know that you are kind and nice and hardworking, but your coat is plain and ugly. I can make you a new colorful coat if you will let me. Mr. Redbird was surprised at this because he always thought he was neat and clean. Beyond that, he never thought about how his clothes looked. He said to Mr. Wolf, if it will make you feel better, you may make me a coat and I will remember you for it. So Mr. Wolf went toward the river on the other side of the rock and found a broken paint rock. A paint rock is a geode you find in the mountains after a volcanic eruption. When you break it open, you will find red clay and oil which will paint your face like the Cherokee will do to get ready for a ball game. Mr. Wolf painted Mr. Redbird a bright red coat and Mr. Redbird flew back to his family. When Mrs. Redbird 
saw him, she was so excited she wanted to see him from all sides. Mr. Redbird said, I know you love red and I know you want a red dress because everyone wants a red dress. Mrs. Redbird knew if she left the children, little Bubba might fall out of the nest and the little girl bird might get a bellyache. She didn't want to be gone long and she didn't want to tell her husband that she didn't want to leave the children with him for long. So she rushed back to the paint rock and got a little <laughs> bit of red and painted herself and hurried back to the babies. Sure enough, Bubba had fallen out of the nest and little girl bird had eaten too much and gotten a stomach ache. So when you see Mrs. Redbird, you'll know she only has a little red on her coat because of her concern for her babies. And Mr. Redbird has a fully red coat as a reward for his kindness from the wolf. The end.